It was a pretty normal day. The sunset, dusk. I was standing in my driveway. I was just leaving the gym. I was out practicing. August 26, 2010. It was probably between 35 to 40 miles per hour. I was retrieving a workout bag out of the back of my car. I got ejected from a vehicle. I uh, flew 98 feet, I believe. My motor locked up on my bike. Pretty much when I hit the ground, I knew instantly. I was struck by a hit-and-run driver. When I finally came to and spoke with the doctors, I was told that I was paralyzed from the neck down and would never feel or move anything from my chest down, including my arms. And that left me paralyzed from the chest down, and which is the T5 area. The doctors came in and they explained to me that I'd broke T5 and T6 in my back, and that I had a complete injury, and that there was uh, basically that there was no hope for me to regain any mobility or movement. I was injured at a C6, C7 in my spinal cord. The realization of understanding that you're never going to move anything or feel anything again is, uh, it, it's like your world is ending. It gets really bad. And you know, it's hard on me, it's hard on the people that's working on me, you know. Once it hits you, it, it hits you hard. That just wasn't how it was supposed to be. Epidural stimulator is placed on the top of the spinal cord in the back. It sends generalized electrical signals to the spinal cord. It reminds the spinal cord of its potential. Really what we call changes the central state of excitability or changes uh, the state of those networks. So now a tiny little signal that may be just remaining of intent can come down and generate a toe to move or generate the leg to move. They ask you to move your leg, move your toe, move your ankle, and all those times nothing ever happened. I had about 80 something sessions before I came here. I had seen no changes. Uh, it was a great opportunity and I took my chances. Going into it there was only one other guy and our injuries were pretty different. I was the first person to receive the epidural stimulation project. After implant, we were doing the same test again, and, and they asked me, they're like, all right, Kent, now do left leg up. I could just feel like the charge of it go down my back to my leg muscles and feel them just pull it. And it was just, it was overwhelming. I first stood on day three of turning a stimulator on, and at that point, we weren't expecting that to happen for at least two years. What is going on down here is such an amazing experience. I have more confidence than I've ever had. I have more self-esteem than I've ever had. I've tried that motion so many times, and then that one time I did it, it was just, it worked, and it was just, it was nuts. I've gotten back a very good sensation and feeling, bladder function, bowel function, uh, sexual function. With the stimulator on, and I'm, it feels like I'm, I'm, it makes me feel normal again. I can stand, and I can move both my legs, toes and ankles and I'm working on doing sit-ups and back extensions. You go so long without being able to stand up by yourself and you have the stimulator and you turn it on and you just stand up on your own and it's just like, I'm standing. It's really good. You know, something like this can change the world. We have the ability to change lives forever. How can we take this knowledge and actually make a difference. The goal is to take uh, this research and these accomplishments that we've had with four individuals and do it with 30 others. If we can get anywhere near the kind of response rates we have in these first four guys, um, we have really got something quite exciting here. So what we're doing is something that they've never even thought about before. 
And this is just the tip of the iceberg we're looking at right now. There is a tremendous potential for recovery based on knowledge that we really didn't have before. The risks of doing this are very low. The benefits you get is, is almost priceless to a patient. As an investor, you look at things like that and say, the odds are pretty good this is going to work, and I'm going to be part of that. We've discovered so much that's moved us forward, but we've only scratched the surface. We've opened up a whole new knowledge base of understanding that is going to lead us to even more discoveries. There are lots of different ways you define cure, but I mean, I think right now we are we are on a very exciting quest to, to hopefully help a lot of people. I think the future is very exciting for people with spinal cord injuries. I'm honored to be a part of it. The greatest decisions I made in my life, being able to stand up, probably the greatest feeling for anybody that's been paralyzed. You really helped me feel like I'm back to my old self that I was before my injury. Epidural stimulation project is the definition of victory over paralysis. I'm ready to start leaping and skipping and jumping and bouncing.